I'm recording right now. So good morning. We're making our llama picture today. I sent you guys the picture of it. Okay, did you guys get to see it? Awesome. Okay, Nick is here. Here we go. They're joining. Awesome. Just wanna make sure we don't lose anyone. It's gonna be a small group, I think. And you guys can always catch up on our video later. All right, guys. So same setup as always. You just need your piece of paper, okay? And you need your pencil and your Sharpie marker. All right. And I see Nick is joining. I'm wondering if he's having issues joining because it, it says it's, he's still joining. All right. Let me, uh, I guess we're good. All right, I'm gonna bring up our picture. You guys have your pencil ready? Okay. I'm just gonna make our picture big. And yeah, I'm wondering what's going on with Nick. It looks like he's still trying to join. Let me see here. I hate to start with Adam when he's right here. Hmm. Could be like a connection problem or uh, internet maybe slipping up. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let me look um, in my email really quick and just make sure they're not trying to email. Sometimes people will email me last minute if they're having issues getting on. Okay. All right, we'll get started. Feel bad about it, but that's what we're gonna do. So here's what we're gonna do first. Um, we're gonna grab our pencil and we're gonna draw out our, our llamas first. Okay. So here I am and here's how we're gonna get started. I'm just trying to have my picture up on the screen and I still wanna be able to see the waiting room so that we don't lose anyone. All right, so down towards the bottom of the picture, we're gonna be making a line. So let me show you what that will look like. Our bottom llama is all the way towards the bottom of the page. So let me show you. This guy's little tail, and then we kind of go off the page there. Sorry, I gotta reclip my paper. So it kind of almost looks like a, like a bear ear. Sorry, I'm so shaky. I'm trying to also check my waiting room. Mine came out a little shaky also in my shape. Okay, we're gonna make his neck. That goes up pretty tall. Okay almost like a giraffe. And then we're gonna make the shape of the head. The head just goes out a little tiny bit. And I'll show you what happens with the ears. Almost look a little bit like horns but not quite. <laughs> Just checking our waiting room again. All right, see if I can set up my tripod. I'm trying to write to them right now. 
Diego's here and Ariana. Hey Diego and Ariana, we just started. I just want to show you. Sorry, I know that there's like a heavy um, shadow in our picture. What I hope is for fall, I'd like to be able to have our virtual sessions in our studio and set up a space there. But uh, I have to wait on that because we have internet issues there. So I can't, we tried that one time and it was pretty bad, remember? So until we resolve our internet issues that we have at the studio, I can't really have reliable online classes there. All right, so this is where we're at. Yeah, I still see Nick in our waiting room. I hope um, he's able to get in. All right. So you guys want to give me a thumbs up so I know if you have this. Okay, you too, Violet, right? How about Diego and Ariana? Yeah, I don't want to move on without you guys. All right, so we have another llama, or this could be an alpaca actually. So we have another one that kind of comes out from the corner. Okay, so he kind of is in this region. He kind of comes out on a diagonal kind of plane. Like that. There he is, happy and coming out in the corner. Just looking at my, uh, email really quick. Okay, I'm just looking in my mail. So I feel bad moving on without them. Okay. So give me a thumbs up if you got this. We're gonna start really moving. Okay. How about Diego and Ariana? If you guys just wanna give me an emoji that works too. Awesome, so I know you're there. Okay. So here's what we're going to do next. So we're just going to quick draw out the little tapestry that's on our buddy here. Don't worry about this little spot. I made a little mess up there that I'll paint out. Okay. Okay, so we have the little tapestry that's on his back, and then we have our ears. 
I'll just show you what those look like. And they're over here also. All right. Looking around at you guys. How are you doing, Vivian, Violet? You guys got it? Okay, we're actually going to move right on to painting. So I'm going to show you guys our painting setup. Let me just repen my screen here. Okay, so we're going to start setting up our paints. So I'll do that along with you. So a lot of white today. And you guys know I like to put white and black in the center. Here they are. Okay, they're trying to join again. See, I knew. I knew they were going to keep trying. That's awesome. Okay. Hey, Nico and Ben, you guys in now? We just started. I know you guys were having a little bit of trouble connecting. I do want to help catch you guys up really quick. So this is the drawing that we've done so far okay um you know what i'll do i'm doing our painting setup right now but um i'll i'll kind of leave our camera on this so that you guys can see and learn how to do this but basically the important thing is that your shapes are pretty large okay see how large we're working now if you're doing our painting setup you're going to need a lot of white, a good amount, maybe even two things of white. I think two things of white is the best thing to do. So I put two things of white. Sorry, I wish I had like a shelf to put our little uh, tripod on. Okay, we need a little bit of blue. <laughs> Okay, so a little bit of blue there. Uh, we're gonna need a little bit of green. That's green, not black. We're gonna need quite a bit of red. And you guys know I like to go around in a circle. So let me show you. my painting set up so far. And I also need yellow. Where is my yellow? There it is. Okay, got my yellow over here. That much is fine. So a smaller amount of yellow is just fine. Okay, and if you have this is optional. We can always mix this color ourselves, but if you have like a teal, that's also a good thing to have. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of hold this above. And I just want to check in with Ben and Nico. See how you guys are catching up. I know you guys joined a couple minutes late. You guys were having some issues connecting. Oh, sorry about that. Do you guys want to just maybe show me where you're at so far? So I can see. Oh, good. You were able to draw it out quick. Awesome. Okay. You want to show me also? Just want to make sure I'm not moving too fast. So good. Very good. Hey guys, I see all your amazing pictures behind you. I wonder if you can take pictures of them and email them to me and I can feature you on our Facebook page. Guys, I can make you Facebook famous. What do you think? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm coming back to, you know, I just want to look around really quick. Violet, you want to just show me what you have so far so I can make sure that I'm not moving on too fast. Great, perfect. 
Okay, and Vivian, you want to show me really quick? Sweet. Okay, you're reverse, right? I like it reverse. <laughs> All right, and Diego and Ariana, you guys want to show me where you're at? I'd love to see. Of course, no pressure. Okay, hold on, wait. Awesome. What about your brother? Is he here tonight? Okay. Does he not want to show? That's okay. All right. No problem. All right, I'm gonna pin my video. We're gonna start painting. Okay, so make sure you have a paper towel, water cup, a variety of paint brushes. Same setup as always, okay? We're gonna do our background first. So the background is fun. We're gonna be mixing a lot of pink. Hey, by the way, do you want your background to be a different color than pink? You can mix your own color. You don't have to do pink, you can make it your own. But I'm gonna follow along with the picture. So if you're making the pink, you're gonna want a good amount of red and a lot of white. This pink is on the cooler side, so I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. Sometimes we make a warmer pink. We've done that a lot in this class where we add yellow instead of blue. This is a cooler pink though. I mean, you want a lot. Okay. You wanna mix it really nice and evenly too. You know what? I'm actually gonna add more red to my pink. It came out a little bit too light. I want it a little bit more vibrant. Now this is up to you. You can have yours be lighter if you like. I just prefer mine to be more vibrant. A little green just mixed in. That happens, it's no big deal. If another color mixes in, my motto is it's usually meant to be. These things kind of happen sometimes. <laughs> it's good to go along with it. Okay, I'm gonna come and focus on our picture here. I'm just making my picture bag again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is use my biggest brush. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I'm not gonna go up to my edge though. You guys know my rules. I'm just gonna fill in. I have a feeling this class might be a little shorter today, which will make up for all the times that I went way over <laughs> class time, which seems to be most of the time. I think this might be a shorter one. So you see I leave a lot of room around my llamas. Maya's up. She's inside. She's decided she doesn't want to nap anymore. She says, I've had enough of this napping. Don't want to do it. So of course you don't need to work as fast as me. I know I'm working very fast. And I know I say this every week, but I have lots of step-by-step -step videos on my YouTube channel. I've been sending you guys a link to my YouTube channel every week. Feel free to do any of those videos and feel free to send me your results. Some of them are, are from our other class that I'm teaching virtually right now. So I have a beginner painting technique class and it's really for younger students, except that the students I have really are around the same age as you guys. So I've been challenging them more. So actually it's been very similar to your class. 
and I think you'll still feel very challenged. Okay, so I just went around. No, he says hi. <gasps> no! Oh my goodness, he just stepped in the paint. <gasps> you go so bad! Oh, he's trapping paint all over my house. Hang on, friends. Oh my goodness. <sighs> friends, I'll be right back. I gotta grab some spray. <laughs> Guys, I'm back. I'm just cleaning up this little mess here. I caught my cat red handed. Give me like two seconds and I'll be right back there with you, friends. Just trying to get all these spots before they uh before they dry. Almost there. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> I lied, I'm finding more spots. Oh my goodness, I'm just trying to grab them really quick. Okay, I'm back. That was crazy. Sorry about that, everyone. I know I stepped away. So, just to catch you guys up on what just happened. My big cat just came in because I forgot to close the door and he stepped right on my painting and right in my big pile of red paint and got freaked out when I yelled. And the next thing I know, there's red paint around my entire bedroom. I'm in my bedroom. So thank you for your patience while I just went and cleaned that. And my cat has red all over his fur.
but I'm back. Okay, so I'm using my thinner brush now to get up to my edges. So I always find this seems to be the best way to do it. Use a big brush for big areas and then a smaller brush for detail areas. Okay, so I'm just taking my time and I'm getting my edges really nicely. And then we're going to be letting this dry. And you can feel free to do a second coat if you have enough paint. It's a good thing to do if you have extra paint. It'll just make your picture look even better. Okay, I am going to check in with you guys. Hang on. Got a little baby Maya here. She just wants to say hi. Okay, that's paint. Telling Maya. All right, can I come and see where you guys are at? You guys want to show me your paintings quick? Awesome. You guys look like you're ready to move on. Let me see Vivian really fast, if you don't mind. No rush. Always take your time. Oh, I love your color. Fun. So your clumpy areas, I'm sure you know this, but you know, you're gonna wanna smooth them out. Otherwise they'll still be drying next week. <laughs> and I've learned that the hard way. Okay, let's see Violet. I love your color, very pretty. Okay, Diego and Ariana, you guys wanna show me really quick? Okay, hey Ariana. All right. Okay. So you guys are blocking in your color. You guys really caught up very nicely and I love your colors. So great job there. All right. So I'm looking at our picture here. I think what we'll do next is we're going to do something kind of crazy because a lot of people would say, not to paint the white, but we're actually gonna paint the white. So you're gonna need a good amount of white today. Let me just repin my video. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Guys, you're gonna grab a medium brush. Make sure it's a brush you haven't already used. You wanna make sure there's no paint in it. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna paint the white. Yeah, so another way that artists would do this is to just not paint the white. But I just like the way it looks better. You could smooth right up to your line. Yeah, I would definitely paint the white. 
but this is like one of those things where it just depends on the circumstance. Sometimes we wouldn't paint the right, the white. So I'm also trying to get rid of the texture that's on my paper. And it just looks better painted in my opinion, you can tell. Doesn't have to be the most perfect painting. But yeah, we're just gonna paint all the white areas. You don't have to paint the tapestry. Maya loves being part of our art class. She's so excited because she usually has to deal with Big Sister being here. And it's all about Big Sister, of course. So she gets very excited when it's just me and her. She says, really? Just me and you? No Big Sis? So she's very happy and loves seeing you guys. Okay, let's see the friends. And I'm also gonna paint the other one white as well. One thing is we need some black paint. I think I probably forgot to tell you guys to put out the white, I mean the black. So you can also put out some black paint when you have a minute. Maya wants to be a, a crawl explorer. So I'm gonna put her down. She's gonna get into trouble in about three seconds. So the white part is a faster part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out my black paint because right away, while that white paint is still wet, and you can go thick with it, but while it's still wet, we're going to start to add the fur for our llamas. So you're going to need a smaller brush. And I know I might be speeding ahead of where you're at. So you can always just watch me first. But I just want to show you. I just got to pull up my picture really quick. Okay. So what we're going to do with the black is we're going to mix it with some white and make it a very, very, very pale gray. See what I did? Okay, so I just mixed a very pale gray. And I'm just gonna come back to our picture. Here's what we're gonna do. With our brush, you can use a smaller brush than this too, if you prefer. But what we're gonna do, and this works best while your white is still wet, you're gonna start to draw the fur. Now I want you to notice my fur comes off my page. You don't need to draw fur around the face. You can leave the face, watch how I actually do it. I'm gonna leave the center of the face blank. And I think I'm gonna grab a smaller brush too. I'll show you guys. I'm up to you guys take your time with this. I'm working fast so you guys can start and see what you're supposed to do. So I was just using my big brush. I'm going to switch over to my smallest brush. And now what I'm going to do is I can make the hair little tiny hairs like that. So you might use a combination of a big brush and a smaller brush. You see? I'm just gonna go around. Okay. 
A little bit of red mixed in and it's no big deal. And now I was just telling you guys that when that happens, usually it's meant to be. Somehow it might help your picture. That's what I think. Because it happens to me all the time. And I always like how it comes out in the end. So don't freak out if you mix a little color. Okay, so he's looking super shaggy. I mean, I can go in also and add more white. You can do that. So I can go directly into my white and add some more white fur. Completely up to you how fur you want to make your llama. He might be an alpaca. I always get mixed up with my llamas and my alpacas. I know they're all related to a camel. And if I'm not mistaken, isn't there one that's even smaller than an alpaca? If you know the answer to that, feel free to talk. I'm gonna check on Maya. She's getting into trouble. Trouble. And I do want to check in with you friends. So I'm going to do my other llama in a minute, but before I do that, just want to see where my friends are at. Looking good, Violet. And it's fun to make the fur. It's a fun detail to do. Hey, Vivian, you want to show me real fast? Awesome. I see your parents can find you to the basement. <laughs> I was always banished to the basement too. That was my art area. I was too messy for anything upstairs. I'm very messy when I work. That's a sign of a good artist. <laughs> um, how about Ben and Nico? Awesome. Let me see there. Oh, I see it from here. Perfect. All right. So we can move right on. Uh, Ariana, did you want to show me quick? Up to you. No pressure. Okay. So we're going to move on. Oh, there she is. Yay. Awesome. Is that Diego? Awesome. Do you want to show me yours really quick, Ariana? All right, looking good. You guys look like you're having fun. I see it now. Gotcha. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead right into our other alpaca, llama, whatever, whatever it is, mysterious uh, relative of camel. Okay, coming here. I'm gonna use my big brush again to start. It's nice to have a combination of big strokes and smaller. That's my opinion. Oh, baby's getting into trouble again. Always. And it's nice to have the fur come off of your page. I have a feeling these are going to be framers. Most likely, you're not going to end up framing everything from the course, but you probably will want to pick one or two things that you love that you're so happy with how they came out and you know get nice frames for them i recommend michael's they have a great framing department and you don't have to spend a lot because we've been working with a standard size 11 by 14 is standard you should be able to find a pre-made frame really easily that it will be cheaper it costs a lot if you have to have a frame made that's where 
it you know begins to cost more. we go. Got the other shaggy friend there. All right, I am gonna check in again. Yeah, everyone's doing. Let's see here, I'm gonna put you guys in gallery. I wanna show you guys how to make the face, but I don't wanna to move too far ahead. I'll give you guys a minute just to make sure that you guys are catching up well. Actually, so I have a good amount of my background color left and as it's drying I see a few areas that really would benefit from a second coat so I'm just going and doing that sometimes it's beneficial to wait to do your second coat because if it's very wet still from the first coat sometimes you're just really moving around paint and actually not adding anymore if that makes sense so now I can go around and add some finishing touches to that part at least while I wait for you guys. And you know what always happens is I always have this area from the clip. So I'll just go ahead and do that while I wait. I really like this clipboard. It's like a, a really big clipboard. They sell them at Michael's or you can make your own. All you need is a piece of wood and a binder clip, which they sell at, you know, any they probably saw them right at King Cullen and they're cheap. So you could use like a piece of wood paneling or anything you have, but that's a sure way to protect your surface. This way, Vivian, you could work upstairs if you want. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm right there with you, Vivian. That was always me. I needed to always work in the basement. I knew I made a mess. That's just how I work, how I roll as an artist. Okay, so I am, actually I just noticed one more spot that I wanna go over. Right there. Okay. Let's see the llamas. You guys wanna hold them up really quick? You guys are still working, right? On um, doing your fur? Sweet, nice Diego. All right, looking good. Ariana, you wanna show me yours quick? Okay. Vivian, you wanna show me really quick? That looks great. Very, very good to Ben and Nico. And looking good. I like Vivian how you have some darker areas of gray and some lighter areas of gray. The variation's beautiful. And let me see Violet. All right, oh, looking perfect. Oh, you have that nice variation going on too. That's great. Sometimes that naturally happens too, as you, you know, some of the gray mixes with the white more. And I like your detail orientedness. That's right. It's coming out really nice and neat. Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to my pin screen here. All right. And I'm coming back to my picture. And you know what we'll do next? It, well, I'm gonna wait on the face. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna make the colorful tapestry that's on the llama's back, okay? You guys can actually mix whatever colors you like for this part, but I'm gonna follow the picture. 
Okay, so you don't have to do what I do here. You guys can really carve your own way with this part. Okay? So if I'm following the picture, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a dark blue. So I'm gonna mix some blue and a little bit of black and some white. And that's gonna give us a real nice dark blue. So that's the color I just got. Mostly blue, a little bit of black, a little bit of white, if you wanna follow along with my colors, which you sure don't have to. Yeah, I definitely think we're gonna end a little early today. So if I'm following the picture, this top part is also that same blue. Hi, Maya. This is a little bit up there too. Okay. Whoa, what happened? Oh my goodness, this baby. She's getting into everything. Hang on. What are you doing? This is not for babies. I know this looks like it's for babies, but that's special to mommy. My dad had a Beanie Baby collection from the 90s that I inherited after he passed away. And he has about, he's got about a hundred. And of course I'm keeping some, but I'm also looking to see if any of them are valuable. So I have to make sure the baby doesn't uh, take off the swing tag or play with them. <laughs> My dad also likes SpongeBob a lot. Let's not go in there. That's a very, very bad place to play. Let's not do that. Here, look at these. These are what we want to look at. These are what we want to look at. Get here. That's for you. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, my dad thought he would make a lot of money selling Beanie Babies. And it's funny because they used to say they were really valuable. So he went and he stocked up on all the real valuable ones as soon as they would come out. So I have about a dozen of the Princess Diana ones, which were collectibles, except that they put out about 5,000 of them. So if there's 5,000 of them out there, they're really not that special. All right, and that's my rant. So I have this teal color. I think I'll add a little bit of blue to it. You can make whatever color you like for the second area. Please stop playing with the Beanie Babies. She's so bad. These are not for you. You can have this one. That's for you. Okay. She loves the Beanie Babies. Okay. I got my color right here. Add a little more white to it. Don't worry about staying in your lines because we're going to repaint the lines. Even this area on top that came out kind of clumsy, I'm going to fix that too. You guys are going to know all my tricks by the time you're done with this class. Okay, I'll show you how I'm going to clean up this area on the top because it does look pretty choppy and clumsy. And here's May too. And it's no big deal. So. I'm gonna dip back in my background color. I just added a little bit of water to it to make it a little bit more loose and liquidy. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a swift line and I'm gonna go across the top. And that's how I'm cleaning that up. See, doesn't look so bad anymore, does it? <laughs> so, you know, while you're working, there's always gonna be areas that you need to fix up. 
and it's okay to fix them up. You never should feel ashamed. No big deal. It's just taking pride in your work is all. Okay. As I always say also, you know, neatness counts at your level. When your guys are little, it doesn't count as much. But as you guys are growing and getting older, it does count because you want your pictures to come out awesome. So I'm still fixing up that line. Okay, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. This is a fun part with lots of fun detail. So I'm gonna dip right into my black paint with my thinnest brush. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and paint my line. She's actually super happy. She's not complaining. All right, so there should be a total of four black lines separating the areas. And I think before I move on, I'm gonna clean up what I just did. Trouble is my brush isn't thin enough. So my lines are coming out thicker than I wanted. So I'm gonna take a minute here and just fix them up because it's no big deal. Hang on. What's in your mouth? eating things you're not supposed to be. Starting to feel happier with it. And it's just one more thing I want to do. I do want to fix up this one too. Okay. I am very happy with it now. So I'll just show you guys really quick the last part of detail that goes in this part, and then I'll check in with you, friends. So the last detail that we need for this part is some white dots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare my white paint. My white paint has a little bit of pink in it. I'm actually just gonna keep it, because I like it. So, it's a matter of making little dots. I even recommend practicing on another sheet of paper so that you can get your dots really small. Sometimes you have to train your hand a little bit to get your hand to do it the right way. Ooh, thunder. You guys hear that? Wow, I guess we're gonna have some uh, torrential downpours maybe any second. I'll put a couple here. 
Do, 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 do. There's like one in there. So that's my detail. And I am going to check in with you, friends. Just a happy girl. All right. Yeah, I, excited to see all the detail that you guys are doing inside. That's called a tapestry. That's what I'm calling it. Anyone want to show me how their llama detail came out? Looking around. Ooh. Okay. Hang on, you guys, stay there, stay there. Nice. All right, it looks like you still have a little bit of detail to do. I like how your dots are black over there. And it looks like you still need to maybe do a little bit more detail. So I'll give you guys a minute on that, okay? All right, checking out Vivian. Hold on, I'm pinning you, Vivian. Nice, look at that, I love your colors. That pink is beautiful. Wow. All right, Violet, I'm coming to you next. Don't go anywhere. Ooh, lovely. Beautiful colors. So beautiful. Love it. All right, Diego and Ariana, you guys want to show me really quick? Just checking in. No, Diego or Ariana? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait. I want to pin you so everyone can see. Lovely. That's Diego, correct? Okay. Ariana, you want to show me yours? Okay. It's fine. You don't, guys, you don't have to show me anything. Of course, I encourage you to, but you don't have to do anything you don't want to do in here. That's the beauty of these online classes. So, you know, I, and I've had people turn off their screen halfway through and then finish on the video later. Um, however you guys want to do it is fine with me. Before we move on, I'll just make another announcement. Um, I haven't put out our virtual classes for fall yet, but I have a feeling I will be offering some. I think we're going to start in mid-September after the school year starts, and I'll be sending you guys an email. I'm thinking a longer session instead of it only being seven weeks, maybe closer to 10. Um, I'd love to hear from you uh, as far as what kind of topics you're interested in. In the meantime, I'm also going to work on our internet issues in our studio so that I can actually be in our studio space teaching. Um, so that's definitely something I'm thinking a lot about. So I'd love to hear from you. All right, I'm gonna come back to our llama alpaca. I'm gonna pin my video. We are, we're gonna do the face. Okay, so I'm just bringing up my picture really quick. That baby's getting into so much trouble. Okay. So, first things first, we need a really thin brush, okay? You wanna remove any paint that might be in it, okay? And here's what we're gonna do. All right, I'm following along with our picture. The nose is towards the bottom of our face. Hold on, my paint's actually very liquidy. I, I don't want it to be so liquidy, so it was good that I actually just saw that. So the nose is like a small heart. Do you have to make it a heart? Not if you don't want to. I think I'll go and do the same on the other one. Well, I've just trained my hand how to make that heart really well. So I actually just used my brush and just kind of, I didn't really do anything special there. I just kind of flattened it. Okay. It's a good idea to maybe just do both faces at the same time. So they kind of have like a happy expression. Does yours have to be happy? No, not if you don't want it to be. You're the artist. You can put your expression in however you like. All right, so Here's what I'm going to do here. Just 
show you really fast. It's very, very simple phase. And then do the same on the other one. Okay, sorry, I know I went off the page there. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the eyes. So the eye, again, I'm just gonna make it by flattening my paintbrush. So let me show you. So I literally just kind of took my brush and flattened it onto the page. You can do a practice run on another sheet of paper. And he, she has some little eyelashes. Now this one has a very happy expression as well. The eyes just are kind of winked up. Okay. And now we can also paint the inside of the ears. They're very friendly looking, very approachable. If I were starting school in a new school and I saw these llamas, I would say, can you guys be the ones that show me around, please? I'd like to meet your friends. Here we go. Now, if I'm following along with our picture, there's also a couple little areas where we can put some black for the fur a little bit underneath the chin. Again, using the smallest brush and there's just little tiny bits of black around. And I'll do the same for this one. And it's good if your paint is still actually wet. So I feel like one of these alpacas is a boy and one's a girl you can add your own expression. So I'm just putting some elements of that black around. Coming out super cute and fuzzy. I'm proud of this one. Yeah, so I'm just putting very few black lines around. Here we go. I'm going to pause for a second and take a screenshot. So we're basically at the end, actually. We're getting very close to the end. And I did tell you guys we were going to end early today. We'll probably end like 10 minutes early. So I'm just going to screenshot. Don't worry, you guys are not in it. Wow, thunder. Thunder and lightning, it's very frightening. There's Maya. Oh, don't put a battery in your mouth. Oh my God. Hi. Okay, I'm just gonna check in with you guys. I just wanna make sure we're up to speed before I uh, move on and show you guys our background. So if you just wanna hold up your picture really quick. Okay, looking good. Looking good, Vivian. Looking good, Ben and Nico. Awesome. Okay, ooh, Violet, so pretty. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you're done adding detail inside the face of your llama and within your llama. Oh, good, Diego, awesome, love it. So give me that thumbs up if you're ready to move on, so I know. Okay, sweet, all right. Like maybe five more minutes total in this video, that's it. Okay, <laughs> my baby's 
suddenly going crazy too. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix a color. I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of black into that color that I mixed for the background. Okay, is that rubber bands? Hey, sorry, I just gotta control my baby really quick. She's being a bad baby again. Don't be bad, don't be bad, don't be bad. I'm gonna put you away. Okay, all right. So I'll show you the color I mixed. I mean, you can play, you can put a little bit of any color inside of here, whatever you want to do. But basically, this color should be kind of light. And what you're doing is you're making kind of like a ribbon around your background. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm sure you're like, what is she talking about? So the color shouldn't be too, too dramatically different from your background color. Try to keep it light, whatever color you mix. And now we're at the point where you guys are mixing your own colors, which is really neat because we definitely didn't start that way in this course. You guys have come a long way. You guys have come to the point where you're more confident and you'll take risks, which I love. And I see you guys doing that. I definitely encourage that. So I'll show you. So it's a line going around. I gotta control my baby again. You stop being a bad baby. You have to be a good baby. You have to be a good baby. Okay. I'm here. So give me a thumbs up if you've made your line around your picture. So I know. Okay, good. Ben and Nico. Okay, Vivian, awesome. Um, Violet, how are you? I think she stepped away for a second. That's all right. She'll catch up. Um, and Diego and Ariana, you guys are ready to move on? I'm gonna say yes. Hey Vivian, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey Violet, <laughs> you guys are both V's uh, and you're probably right around the same age, so. All right, so we have our line here. I'm just gonna bring up my picture again. All right, this is definitely a fun part. You're gonna use your thin brush and we're gonna go into our black again. Oh, I should pin my screen, sorry friends. I'm gonna go do that really quick. There I go. Okay. So I'm just dipping in my black paint. Watch what I'm going to do here. So it's as if they're at a party. They're party llamas. I think that's the whole point of this picture is like they're llamas at a party. So those are streamers. That's what I think they are. All right, so the next part's fun. We're gonna grab a medium brush and we're gonna use colors that are already in your picture. So you don't have to mix anything. We're gonna use the same colors that you use for the uh, tapestry, okay? So let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna be making circles. Now, if I had waited for that to dry, it would have shown up a little better. And this is another one, if you're at home, this could be a time when you're using your hair dryer in between the steps. So that's actually a benefit of doing it at home. While we're live, we don't necessarily have that time. Okay, so I just made about like five, circles 
and you're making them within the streamers. I'm also working pretty thick. You can do the seam if you like or not. You have a choice here. Just this seems to be working for me. Okay. So now I have that darker blue that I mixed that I was using before. I can remix a little more. That's what I'm going to do because I think I like working thick like I just did. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to put some blue around. I don't have to put as many of these as I did with my last. There's no hard rule of thumb here. Okay. And you guys get to have one more color. So I have all this green. I haven't used it. I think I'll use it. This way it's not a waste. I did say about using colors that we've already used, and I know we haven't used green. Up to you. I'm gonna grab her in a second. I'm done over here, but before we end, I want to take a like a group picture. So hang on. Hey. I got a baby. Okay. And, oh, it just landed right in my picture. I hate when that happens. Definitely be patient with all your teachers this year. <laughs> Working virtually is very different for us. And as hard as it is for you, it's equally hard and sometimes even harder for us. So we all do our best. Just have patience. Try not to judge if you can. Here I am with Maya. Some of your teachers might be having their babies with them too, if they're working from home. You see friends? Do you see all those friends? Mommy's having a meeting. Okay, um, is everyone done or are you guys still working? Still working? Okay, if you are finished, absolutely finished, give me a big thumbs up so I know. Okay, how about Diego and Ariana? Just looking for their thumbs up. I think we'll go ahead and do our group shot. Did you guys want to join Diego and Ariana? I'd love to have your picture with us. You guys want to hold them up really fast? All right, we're going to go ahead and do this. You guys ready? Hold up your pictures. And five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. And I will miss you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great last week or two of summer. Do some fun things with your family. Definitely catch the beach. And keep in touch with me, you guys. I need to get those pictures from you. I want you guys to email me pictures from the class of all the stuff you've made. I'd love to feature you on Facebook, so don't forget me, all right? I really want to see what you guys did, okay? And maybe I'll see you guys this fall, okay? Bye, everyone.